request for me to answer this question from chapter 7 in the P1 textbook, the IAL textbook, from the chapter review of chapter 7, page 145, question number 2. This is from the chapter on radian measure. So here we're asked, first of all, to find the area of the triangle OCD. Now we're told that um, OC is equal to OD, which is marked, 17 centimeters, and CD equals 30 centimeters. So there's 30 centimeters. Okay. The midpoint of CD is M, and a semicircular arc A1 is drawn with center M. So M is basically the center of the circle that this arc A1 forms with C and D. Okay, so this is like a semicircle. That's the diameter and that's a semicircle. All right, um, a circular arc A2, there's another arc here, with center O. So there's like another, like a sector of the circle, of a, of a circle with center O. So O, C, D is like a sector of a circle. All right, um, radius 17 centimeters. Okay, now, um, the shaded region R is bounded by the arcs A1 and A2. Calculate giving answer to two decimal places. First, the area of the triangle OCD. Okay, to find the area of the triangle OCD, there's a number of ways we could do it. One, we could split this into two separate triangles. We're going to have like uh, this is an isosceles, so we can draw from perpendicular, find the vertical height, and then the half times base times height. That's one way. But I'm going to choose a different way because obviously I know I'm going to have to use this angle in part B because we've got to find that shaded area in part B. So I'm going to find what this angle is and then use a half AB sine theta. That will help me in order to find um, this angle, which I'll need for the second part, okay? So for part A, what I'll do is first, I'll find what the angle A is, the angle theta is. And I can do that using two methods. I could use a cosine rule, or I could split this into two um, right angle triangles and then find half the angle and double it. Let's just use a cosine rule because there's less um, steps involved in writing it down. Well, it's quite easy to use um, trigonometry as well, okay, uh, right angle triangle trigonometry. Both of them are perfectly fine. So if you use a cosine, we have cosine theta is equal to, now remember it's b squared plus c squared, so it's 17 squared plus 17 squared minus a squared, which is the side opposite the angle. So the side opposite the angle you find is always going to be the a in your formula. So it's going to be the two sides which make the angle squared and added take away the square of the angle opposite the angle you're trying to find over 2 times uh, b times c so 2 times 17 times 17 so i'll just put 2 times 17 times 17 so theta is shift cosine of all of that so if i take my calculator and i make sure that it's in radian mode because we're going to be dealing with radians here so this is in radian mode that's fine. So I just press inverse cosine of 17 squared plus 17 squared minus 30 squared over 2 times 17 times 17. Okay, close the bracket equals. That gives me 2.16167. 2.16167. Some more numbers now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to store this as under A. So if I use this again, which I will have to use it in other parts of the question, I've got it stored away. So now um, I need to find the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle OCD is going to be given by a half times the two sides that make the angle. 17 times 17 and a half AB sine of the angle theta, which I just found as 2.1616 dot dot dot. So I'm just going to now stick that in my calculator. So I have a half times 17 times 17, so that's 17 squared uh, times the sine of the angle which I stored under A. Okay, and that gives me 120. So the area of the triangle is 120 square 
centimeters. Okay, as I said, we could have found it by using Pythagoras as well. We could have dropped it perpendicular down from here. That would have been 15 and 17. We could have found that. Okay, and then we could have used the half times base times height. Uh, half times 30 times that height we found, and we would have got the same answer. Okay, part B. Find the area of the shaded region R. Now, if we think about it, the shaded region, shaded region R is a semicircle, okay, which has got the center M. Okay, this semicircle with center M means that radius is 15 centimeters. That semicircle minus this segment. If we take away this segment, okay, from this semicircle, we we'll end up with a shaded region. So we need to first find the area of the semicircle. The semicircle, okay, which is you can say CMD, CMD, okay. There's M, there's C, and there's D, and its radius is 15. So the area of the semicircle is going to be a pi r squared over 2, which is pi times 15 squared divided by 2. Okay, so you have 15 squared divided by 2, okay, times pi. So this is like 112.5 pi. 112.5 times pi. Okay, that's the area of the semicircle CMD. We also need to find the area of the segment. The segment made from the circle OCD. The segment, okay, that's made from the circle OCD. So it's that segment CD here. Okay, which is equal to um, the area of the whole sector, the area of the whole sector OCD minus the area of this triangle. Okay, so we can work that out as the area Okay, is equal to a half times r squared times theta minus sine theta. Okay, this is the, the area of the whole sector minus the area of the triangle. Okay, we already found the area of the triangle, so we could, we could if you want, just do a half r squared um, minus, we could do a half r squared minus 120, because we know the area of the triangle, so that's fine. So you can just use a half times. Now the air, the, the radius of the of this sector is 17, not 15, 17. So it's a half times 17 squared. 17 squared times theta, which is 2.1616 dot dot dot. And we've got to take away from that 120. All right. So this gives us we have half times 17 squared times our answer which we stored as A okay uh, minus 120 okay that's 192.362 192.362 Six two, therefore the area of R is going to be one one two point five minus this area, which is one nine two point three six two. So what I can do is I can say one one two point five pi minus answer one one two point five pi minus the last answer which gives you 161.066 let's see how they ask us to round our answers it says calculate giving the answers to two decimal places so the area of the shaded region you need to give to two decimal places which is 161.0 7 centimeters squared. So that's the answer. 
for part one, it says it's two decimal places, but it comes out exact. If you want to be precise, I suppose you'd have to write this to follow the instructions exactly. But exact answers you don't normally round, round to, to anything. You don't leave it as 120. Okay? Um, that was an exact answer. So there we have the answer to this question.